Look at this video I made about a month ago that turns real life scenes into anime like style. Well today when you finish watching this video you'll be impressed even more as we have ourselves a new AI to play with. Previously, I experimented with CartoonGen, which is an older deep learning algorithm. Well, not really that old. And tried on different anime scenes that were inspired upon real life sceneries. And the result was not that convincing. But the funny thing is, soon after I published this video, a new research paper popped up and incidentally caught my eyes. It's called White Box Cartoonization. And, and that's what we're talking about today. The main problem that CartoonGen has is that it contains a lot of artifacts and generates in a very low resolution. But white box cartoonization came into this competition and destroyed everyone else. It can generate naturally in a very high resolution and well, it still produces some artifacts but it's much less than any other deep learning architecture out there. And the question here is, how is this achieved? Well, the short answer is, the AI considers more aspects in terms of the input video. The more control we have when training the AI, the better it will be, basically. If you want to know the long answer, it is well documented in your blog. For AIs that transform real-life footage into the, let's go this, anime-style footage, the goal or the product is to simply simplify the features of objects, produce less complex shapes, and have more precise edges when perceived from a video. Throughout the process, the product of transformation is usually cutting down some fine details like human faces, which are far too detailed, or the small prints on the boxes or cups, which is removed. Well, more like simplified. Just look at this underground entrance. It looks pretty good, right? Also, the reflections on the car is pretty amazingly retained, and the AI did not create any artifacts, surprisingly, as some of the reflections are pretty distorted. For this shot, a lot of the drone is crisp, and the parts where it's supposed to be blur is blurred, which is pretty well done here. So at this point, I think we've pretty much already proven that white box cartoonization is, well, much better than cartoon game. But the real question here now is that, how similar is the output from white box cartoonization compared to the animes that uses real life sceneries? Like maybe is there a possibility where this can replace a part of the anime production? Well, probably no for now, but in the future there are probably chances when this technique is more developed. Well, it's mainly because now drawn is still way better looking than AI processed. In the meantime, I also got curious about how cartoonization works on different other videos, like this gaming montage I made for CSGO a long time ago. Which seems like a pretty cool concept, and it actually worked pretty well. Well, my curious mind also told me to test it on some animes. So I chose Violet Evergarden because of their amazing art style and textures. Well, what we can learn from this is the AI is programmed to take in any video and simplify it. So it doesn't matter if you input animations or anything more simple, the AI will always give you the simpler result. And I also took this video and attempt to cartoonize it. And shockingly, the cartoonization is really, really well. I was expecting some more artifacts, but it was actually pretty crisp. It looks like one of those early age animation to an extent, which is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Well, that's it for today now. Um, thank you guys for watching. And here are some bonus cartoonized clips. If you haven't followed me on Twitter, please do. And I'll see you all next time.